I feel like celebrating. I feel like lifting Jesus higher.
I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me, Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the work of thine own hands. Praise God. We thank the Lord today for his words. Praise God. And we're going to sing one more song before I turn over to our moderator. Praise God. When his wounded hand touched mine. Praise God. When his wounded hand touched mine. When his wounded hand touched mine. My Jesus set me free throughout eternity. When his wounded hand
Lord one more time. And if you're glad to be in the presence of the King of Kings that took away all of your sins, come on, lift your hands and just say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 All other gods, they are the works of men. You are the most high God. Oh, there is none like you. We say all other gods, they are the works of men. You are the most high God. this morning we exalt your name Jesus Christ this morning we lift your name up God this morning for you are God and there is none like you hallelujah we bless the name of Jesus Christ the true and the living God the savior of the world hallelujah died on Calvary's cross that we might have life 
and that we might have it more abundantly. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise him. Come on, somebody. Praise him. It's been good to you. Praise him this morning. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 I feel like just singing, I, I feel like singing a praise song to the Lord this morning. It's a traditional hallelujah Good Friday service. At this time of the year, men pause to reflect and remember the sacrifice that Jesus Christ paid on Calvary. Bore the sins of many. I said bore the sins of the world because he searched for a man and there was none. None that was pure enough. None that was clean enough. Hallelujah. To hang on a cross for the sins of men. The Bible says his own arm brought him the salvation. And we are recipients of that salvation. We are the ones that God has made this pathway for. And the Bible says it took one sacrifice. And that one sacrifice was Jesus Christ himself. There is no other sacrifice. The Bible says that, listen, that we might have life, have it more abundantly. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's a song that's just in my heart. It says, hallelujah. You have won the victory. If he's won the victory for you, praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Death could not hold him down. Bible says that he rose on the third day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What could this singer just help me? Raise that one. It says, Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Thank you. 
use the chanting to play softly. Let our king be lifted up. Lift your hands and worship the Lord. Singers, just lift your hands. Those tuned in, just lift your hands right where you are and just, just exalt. Hallelujah, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Main heart. Siren men's heart at this point the world is in a crisis men's heart is failing them for fear anxiety people are crying men are dying and they that trust in the Lord Hallelujah, hallelujah. They that trust in the Lord have nothing to fear for God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah is a covering for us. Hallelujah, somebody praise the Lord. Our Lord God is a covering. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be, you may be seated. I just want to I just want to thank God for his goodness. Thank God for his mercies. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. We're glad to be in the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Our God is not a God of numbers. And all God requires is two. <laughs> is that what the scripture says? We're two or three. And we're more than three. Touching anything concerning him. The Bible says in the midst to grant and to bless. Hallelujah. I want to just right now extend a very warm greetings to all those tuning in on the World Wide Web. Thank you for tuning in and joining us in our Good Friday service. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now we would have a packed house. But thanks be to God, we are still here. We can still assemble in the presence of King Jesus. And lift his name up and declare his doings among the people. Praise God. We have the minister here who will be ministering the word of God for us a little later. Hallelujah. But I want to just tell you today that if you've tuned in to this service, there's a blessing with your name on it. Just sing the songs with us. Just lift the name up. Lift his name up. Give him glory. Give him honor. Right where you are, whether that's in your bedroom, hallelujah, hallelujah, in your living room, anywhere you are, just lift the name of Jesus up. By faith, he will meet you right where you are. There's a blessing with your name on it. And if you just believe God, I know that God will touch you. I know that God will minister to you Hallelujah, hallelujah. In that way, the Bible says, when I be lifted up, hallelujah, when my father is lifted up, men will be drawn. Amen? The Bible says that his promises are sure. We can touch God today in a very, very strong way through our praise and our worship. That's how we touch God, through our praise and our worship. The Bible says it must flow from the recesses of our heart and God will receive it like a sweet smelling savor hallelujah 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 let's try him though let's try that today let's give him that sweet smelling savor of our worship and let him pour out upon us a blessing there will be not enough room to contain it I want to tell you how happy I am to be in the house of the Lord one more time praise God and we have Minister Minister Boucher with us, young Minister Boucher, our bass guitar player. I'm going to invite him to just put on his instrument just for a little bit, and he's just going to come and greet everybody in the name of the Lord. He's just going to leave his testimony. Praise God. I, I, I would ask him to sing, but I don't know him as a singer. He can sing. <laughs> like mommy. All right, I don't know. But come, Minister Boucher, just come and greet this congregation and leave your testimony in the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again.
again. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't prepared for this at all, you know. But um, I mean, I am still going to give my testimony nonetheless. Um, I can remember like last year October on my way to a EP launch um, that that kept at Holy Childhood High. Um, I was just walking in the night. So it was about seven o'clock. I was walking from half a tree because they know that Holy Childhood is like walking distance to half a tree. So I was just walking on my way and stuff. And you know, I, I kept on seeing like at the behind of me, like an image was walking back at me, and I was wondering, you know, maybe it was just you know a regular person, a regular madman walking at night, you know, because a lot of those persons are at half a tree. But the person kept on walking a lot faster, and I was. I didn't really pay much mind until, you know, this person actually caught up with me and, you know, looked at me. And I, I figured that he was probably begging something. You know, just the way he looked at me and the way he looked, he was shorter than me and stuff. And he was looking at me and he was asking me, you know, what I have. So the first thing at my mind is that, you know, maybe he's poor, he wants something to, you know, buy and eat and stuff like that. And then he just stopped me and said, what you have? Then he just took out a knife right then and there. And I w I tell you, my heart started to race. I was wondering, you know, if this is it, you know, but you know, I looked at him and said, you know, I'm just, I'm just going, you know, to worship God. I'm just going to a, a concert um, for Jesus and stuff like that. And he I honestly didn't care <laughs> if I was going to a concert or not, you know. He said, hurry up and give me what you have. And then he started to feel the back of my pants. And I said, oh, no, no, man, easy, no, man, easy, no, man. You know, uh, I mean, I had to be brave, you know, I had to be brave at that time. While I was there, because I, I, I recently bought a, a, a phone, a new phone, I had my wallet, I had my cards, I even, I even just happened to have um, a US card at that time with thousands of, of US dollars. I just happened to have it at that time, and a new phone and everything like that. And I was, you know, reaching my hand <laughs> to the back of my pocket, and I'm saying, boy, I really, this is a come to, because I went on a work and travel program, and I, I worked very hard for about four years. Uh, four years, four months, and you know, I said it's just gonna disappear. Uh, you know, it was just an, all this hard work is just gonna go like that. And I'm, you know, while I was reaching my hands to my back pocket to give him my wallet, I was thinking whether I should just give him or just run. You know, I was, I wonder if, if it worked because I, what I was thinking that I could just give him or I could just stay one place and just, you know, probably just run. And I was wondering if I ran, if he would have caught me or something. And saints of God, I ran. I ran all the way to half a tree back. And, you know, you would think that, you know, when you run from the enemy, you know, the enemy will, will not pursue you and stuff like that. I looked behind me and it was him that pursuing me with the knife, same way. You know, and things started to get real at that time. <laughs> you know, and eventually he stopped. Because, I mean, while he was robbing me, some person, I, I could recall somebody passing me. I don't know if they realized that I was getting robbed, so they said that, you know, you're on your own with that. Then they just passed me, and eventually I ran, I ran all the way to half a tree. He stopped running at me, and, you know, sometimes we're waiting for God to give us some big miracle and say, you know, um, okay, my, I'm going to open his eyes, let, the, let him see all the angels standing around that he can run. Sometimes the miracle is already what you have, you have two feet. And for me, it didn't have, to, I, I had on my church shoes. I don't know who I ran that fast, but I managed to escape. And I want to thank God for that because it, that could have been my full stop right there. And I have to give thanks for that. But anyways, are there any, uh, any visitors online? And if there are any visitors online, you can just type an amen. And if there are no visitors, all the saints, I greet you. And also just type an amen and say, God bless. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to, the singers just to help me stand one more time. Let us continue to praise and worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a, a song, I, I don't know the, the verses very well, but it says, I come just now to say thank you, O King. And not just a part of my life, but my everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know Dejani, you know that one. Can you just raise that one for us as we continue the praise and worship theme of this morning service? 
as we lift the name of Jesus up for the sacrifice that he paid on Calvary. Go ahead. I've come just now Praise to God. say Praise thank God. you, O King. Mm, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're not just a part of my life, but my everything. My everything. Your love reaches way down deep within. Past is human understanding. Hallelujah. Yes. There will always be a song yes. for you. I'll sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, worship. Worship. Sing and One give him glory. Alone Hallelujah. Just express, express my, my heart. heart's desire. Yes. Hallelujah. Gratitude for one more day. My need supply. One more day, my need supply. Your warm embrace and tenderness. Oh, yes. Your patience with me through all my mess. Ah, there's one conclusion. I've come to one conclusion. Praise you God. are the best. Come on, lift your voice and sing. Hallelujah. To our King. To our King. Hallelujah, I will sing. Jesus, 
somebody this morning if you're sick in your body if you have a need that God alone can fill listen not even the doctor can help no one can satisfy that need can I just tell you this morning hallelujah right where you are that God is able for he has overcome and you will overcome all you've got to do is believe. The Bible says all you've got to do is just believe. Acts. Hallelujah. And believe God and you will overcome this morning. Someone, as we sing it one more time, believe God for your miracle. Right now, every high place, every, high place every stronghold in your life this morning, God can bring it down. And you can overcome in Jesus' name. You will overcome every place. Every stronghold. For you will the victor's crown. Oh, you overcome. You overcome. Every hard place must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. Lord, you will the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Lift your hands, somebody. Lift your hands. Let's worship the Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I feel like touching him for somebody in the world today. I feel like touching Jesus for somebody's need here today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Feel God. Feel the presence of the Lord here this morning. Oh, God, I pray that somebody would just... Just right where you are, just believe God, hallelujah, for your miracle. Believe God for your blessing. I know we all have needs, and everybody's worrying about COVID-19. 
And if you're not careful, you are so distracted with the, the news. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You fail to recognize that all it is is just pointing towards a brighter day for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Scripture said, when you see these signs come to pass, you must look up for your redemption joy nigh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, happy day. <laughs> oh, happy day. Come on, it's coming. When Jesus washed. <laughs> Come on, somebody, sing it. My sins away. Happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus washed all my sins away. He taught me how. Oh, to watch, to watch and pray, and live rejoice, sin every day, oh, happy day, come on, that's the hope of the church, happy days. Oh, and Jesus was all my sins away. He taught me how. He taught me how. I'm not worried about the time. I'm happy. I'm hopeful. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm going to give the glory and, and live with Sin when every day, every day. Hallelujah. Come on, that's the hope of the church. Happy. Happy day. He washed my sins away. Hallelujah. It is done. Another verse says, The great transactions done. I am the Lord. You know that one? And He is mine. As I, I follow on, oh, yes, sing it all upon. Hallelujah! Come on, I feel like singing happy day one more time because I believe that if somebody don't get this message clear. You're going to start to worry like the world. And they'll understand that, listen, better days are coming for the church. Better days are coming for those that truly believe and hold steadfast to this hope and faith in Jesus Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. Happy day. Ooh, happy day. When Jesus washed my sins away, he taught me how oh, to walk and pray and live with joy. Sin every day. Oh, happy day. Oh, yes. Happy day. Oh, yeah. When Jesus was. And I tell you, it's when he was.
wash your sins away. I would say, give us a hope and make it not ashamed. And our hope is that one day, because our sins are washed away, that one of these days is going to come again. And we are going to meet him in the air. The Bible says, there we shall ever be with the Lord. Praise God. I feel like just lifting our hands one more time to the King. And just tell him thank you. Thank you for the hope that we have. Our heart is not failing us for fear. But our faith is lifted in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, we have to sanitize and we have to protect ourselves. And practice a social distancing like the world is being encouraged to do. But still yet, our hope is in God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. If you're happy, say amen. If you're glad to be in the house of the Lord, say amen. amen. Praise God. Pray. I feel good, good, good. I feel very wonderful. Good. Oh, every time I talk about you, can we sing about him? I feel good, good, good. I feel, I feel good, good, good. good. I feel good. I feel very wonderful. Say every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. You see, you say I feel good. Preacher, say me. I minister, say me. Well, let's sing one more time. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. I feel good. What about you? I feel, I feel very wonderful. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. Oh, I feel good, good, good. I feel very wonderful. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel very wonderful good Every time I talk about Jesus I feel good, good, good yeah, I am on the rock And the rock is higher than I Over high, over high I'm on the rock We shall see Jesus in the air. Oh, coming down for you and me. Oh, what joy is ours to share. Oh, what rejoicing there will be. Oh, when the saints shall rise. Oh, and in for the jubilee. Under the sky. Oh, what, oh, what singing. Oh, what shouting. Oh, what shouting. On that happy morning. Sometimes I hear 
filling my heart with fear. Freedom we all hold dear. Now is that stake. Oh, I'm by your heart to God. Free from the chain, sin rot. Free the way pill, grim shot. Good sense away. My Jesus is coming soon. Morning or night or new. Oh, many will be there too. Trumpet will sound. All of the dead shall rise. Try to be in the sky. Going where no one has ever won. My Jesus is coming. My Jesus is coming soon. Morning or night or noon. And it will be the doom. Trumpet will sound. Oh, all of the dead. Going where no one dies ever more. One more time, Jesus is coming to morning or night. Oh, you and the rest need to do. Jump and sound. All of the dead shall arise. Righteous me in the sky. Going where no one dies ever more. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, one of these days. Lift your hands up and say hallelujah. hallelujah. One of these days. He's going to come. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's not going to come to be sacrificed again on a Calvary's cross. He's going to come to take the bride of Christ out of the world. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's going to come in victory. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we shall there be with him forevermore. What a hope. What a hope. What a hope. What a hope. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know that minister, the minister for the word is ready. And I want to just say God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. I'm going to invite Minister Martin just before the minister comes. And ask him to just introduce a speaker and just say what he has on his heart to say. Praise God. I know you want to extend an apology for Pastor Daly, Bishop Daly. Hallelujah. And I want him to also just leave his testimony briefly and then introduce a speaker. God bless you, Minister Martin, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. Always victorious, always watching over us. Put your hands together everywhere where you are for our great God. Amen. Praise God. I, I, I thank God for the blood. I thank God for the fact that God, 2,000 years ago, shed his blood for us. Amen. And even in this time where we are having heartache and people are dying all over the world. Amen. The Bible says, if in this life only we have hope in Christ... We are of men most miserable. But I thank God for the blood. Because the blood was shed. And because the blood was shed, we have a hope. So even if we die in this life or not, our hope is not in this life. But our hope is the one day for Jesus to come for us and to take us to where he is. Where we might live life eternal with our great God. Amen. I greet you in the exalted name, the mighty name. The excellent name, the highest name, the name above all names, the name of Jesus. And we thank you for tuning in to our live stream this morning. We greet you on behalf of our bishop, which is not here this morning, Bishop Garfield Daly. Amen. Sister Daly, uh, the leadership, and all the saints of Faith Apostolic Ministries. We greet you in the great name of Jesus. Amen. I thank God that one day God thought it fit to save my soul. Amen. The Bible says, He have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit. There's nothing good that I have done. But because of our great God, I am in his house giving him praise. I have a hope, a lively hope. A hope that one day, I mean, all his troubles, all the things that we are going through, all the worries, all the corona, all the Ebola, all the issues that are affecting our lives. I thank God that I have a hope that is not in this life. And one day, huh, one day the trump of God is going to sound. 
Amen. And the dead in Christ shall rise incorruptible. And we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together uh, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. I thank God that my hope is in Jesus Christ, the God of God and the King of Kings. Amen. And it's my privilege right now to introduce uh, the speaker this morning to come and to give a word. I thank God that in this season, even though we are not in the house of God physically, God still is able to give us a word where we are. Amen. We know that the word of God is quick and it's powerful. I thank God for men who are able to study the word of God and to hear from God and to deliver a word to us. So it's my privilege right now to ask uh, Minister Brother Odin Steele to come and to speak as thus say the Lord. God bless you, sir. Bow your heads as I pray. Exalted God, great God of heaven, the mighty God. Jesus is your name. There's none other name under heaven. At the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you are Lord. We thank you, God, that you are able, Lord Jesus, to speak to us one more time. We ask you, God, that you will touch our brother as he stands between heaven and us. We ask you, God, that every word that comes from his mouth will come from your throne. Super 10 right now upon his life. And then, Lord, to speak as thus said the Lord. I ask you, God, for every person who is hearing the word, prepare their hearts. Let it not fall, God, on uh, bad ground, Lord Jesus, but let it fall on good ground. Oh, God, that it will bring forth, hallelujah, uh, full, 10,000 and more. Oh, God, touch our minister. Help him, Lord, to speak as thus said the Lord. We come against every spirit. We come against every uh, hindrance, everything that the enemy would want to put in to block this word. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus. I will say, God, arise. Uh, hallelujah. And let your enemy be scattered. Thank you, God, for this morning. Thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for us. And thank you, Lord, just for giving us a word one more time in this season. God of heaven, cover him. Touch him right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bless the Lord Jesus. God bless you, minister. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we just wave our hands to our God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. Hallelujah. Amen. He's always victorious. Always watching over us. Praise the Lord Jesus. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. I'm happy to be saved. I'm happy to know... Praise the Lord, that the Lord found it fit to save me. Praise God from a life of sin. I'm just grateful to God. Is there anyone today who is grateful? Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I greet everyone that has joined in in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. I greet our Bishop, Bishop Daly, in his absence. Praise the Lord. Everyone here, our moderator. Amen. And our praise team, our musicians, God bless you. I greet all my friends. Praise God. I greet my father and my, uh, my, my, my spiritual leader too. He's my bishop. He might be watching from Portland. Amen, Bishop Steele. Greetings to you and the family, sir. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Today, I just want to leave something quick that's on my heart. I know we're in the season of Easter, praise God, and today I believe that the Lord has laid a thought on my heart, and by his grace, I intend to share that thought. Don't intend to be here very long, praise the Lord Jesus, and so I crave that you will just worship and pray as the Lord moves. If you could turn your Bibles to Exodus, I'm going to be reading just a few verses, Exodus chapter 12 verses 12 and 13, and I'll also be reading from the book of Joshua, chapter 2, Exodus 12, 12 and 13. I'll go ahead and read, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt will I execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be for you a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. 
and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Praise the Lord. Turning around now to Joshua chapter 2. Amen. I'll read verses 12 and 14 and two more verses. 12 and 14. 12 to 14, I'm sorry. Now therefore I pray you, swear unto me by the Lord, since I have showed you kindness, that ye will also show kindness unto my father's house and give me a true token, and that ye will save alive my father and my mother, and my brethren and my sisters, and all that they have, and deliver our lives from death. And the men answered her, Our life for yours. If ye utter not this our business, and it shall be when the Lord hath given us the land, that we will deal kindly and truly with thee. Just two more verses, 17. Uh, it says, And the men said unto her, we will be blameless of this thine oath which thou hast made us swear. Behold, when we come into the land and thou shalt bind this line of scarlet thread in the window which thou didst let us down by and thou shalt bring thy father and thy mother and thy brethren and all thy father's house home unto thee. Last verse 19. And it shall be that whosoever shall go out of the doors of thy house into the street, his blood shall be upon his head. We will be guiltless, and whosoever shall be with thee in the house, his blood shall be on our heads, if any hand be upon him. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'll tell you the topic that's on my heart in a little while. Praise the Lord Jesus. But Minister Martin earlier struck a chord, amen, that I also want to strike. He said that if in this life only we have hope, then we are of all men most miserable. Praise the Lord Jesus. Without a doubt, we would all agree that we are living in perilous times. The scripture said, that in the last days, perilous times sh shall come. Amen. It's no secret that perilous times are here. Praise the Lord Jesus. The world is in a time of crisis. Praise God. You know, during this time, we panic. Men are panicking. And someone says men's hearts are gripping them for fear. We are grappling with the impact of the, 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 the coronavirus, praise the Lord Jesus, and leaders around the world are all over the place trying to find a solution to this pandemic, praise the Lord Jesus. You know, I, 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 I did some research and I recognized that of a fact, this has not been the first time that the world has experienced a health crisis, praise the Lord. We are all familiar with the HIV AIDS, and we've heard of the Spanish flu, we've heard of uh, the, 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 the SARS, and we've heard of smallpox, and in more recent time, Ebola, and now we are dealing with the coronavirus, praise the Lord Jesus. You know, this pandemic, the coronavirus, is unique primarily because it's the first pandemic in a time on earth where Science is at its peak. Medical technology has never been this advanced. Yet with all the knowledge and the skills of our scientists, praise the Lord Jesus, we are struggling, we are grappling with this unexpected health crisis. Praise the Lord Jesus. I believe that men are particularly afraid of this virus because it is considered novel. In other words, it is the first time that they are dealing with this particular strain of virus. Praise the Lord. There is no known vaccine. There is no confirmed treatment. And as a result of this, praise God, for many, it is considered a death sentence. Praise the Lord Jesus. But I, I, I assess the situation and I recognize that men have their priorities 
twisted because when God made man, he made man in, from the dust of the earth and he made man from the, the dust of the earth. Yes, he made man both body and spirit. He breathed into man the breath of life and the Bible said man became a living soul. Now, what we see happening in the world is that men are all over the place trying everything possible to preserve their physical life. But there is a pandemic that has been plaguing the world ever since the fall of man. Praise God. The mother of all pandemics. Amen. It's the sin crisis. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now, sin has claimed more lives than all the pandemics combined. Praise the Lord Jesus. Sin is the, the, the reason for murders. It is what influences suicides and abuse. Praise God Almighty. And once you are born into this world, you are affected by sin. Praise the Lord Jesus. They will tell you that majority of the world may never experience the impacts of the coronavirus. But once you are born on this earth, praise God Almighty, then you are affected by the impact of sin. Hallelujah. Now, you see, we've got to understand that men are trying to find a vaccine. And, and, and what I want us to understand is they come up with different methods and strategies to, in, to, to, to prevent or to slow down the spread of this virus. One such strategy is they will tell us that we should practice social distancing. I never heard of social distancing before, but now they are telling us that we should stay in our houses. Praise the Lord. They are saying to us that if we don't need to come out, then we should not come out. World, the world, most countries across the world are now putting into effect stay at home orders praise the lord jesus because it is believed that the house should be a place of security amen you should not be able to contract the virus in your house if you didn't bring it there praise the lord and so we've got to recognize that people are now distancing themselves hallelujah praise the lord jesus but what i want us to understand is that god our savior he came Praise the Lord Jesus. And he came to establish a vaccine. Hallelujah. The vaccine for the epidemic or the pandemic of sin. Praise the Lord. So now sin no more is a death sentence because Jesus came and shed, hallelujah, his blood. Praise the Lord Jesus. You see, we no longer have to live a life of sin and die and our souls are not saved. Because what Christ did was he came to give us a, a, a vaccine, not for the body, but for the soul. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. But we see the money, the billions, the trillions of dollars that are being spent in order to come up with a solution, uh, God Almighty, for the physical body. And I dare tell us that the Bible helps us to understand that man that is born of a woman hath but a few days to live, and is full of troubles, praise the Lord. It is appointed unto man once to die. But after death comes the judgment, praise God Almighty. And so if we should recover from the coronavirus or any other sickness, we still are appointed to die. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And so we've got to recognize that there is an important aspect the soul that needs some attention. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. If I should fear any pandemic, it would not be the coronavirus. It would not be HIV AIDS. It would be sin. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. But men's priority, it's twisted. Praise the Lord Jesus. You see, Easter is a time when we celebrate the death, the birth death and burial of Christ, the resurrection of Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus. The time when we acknowledge the fact that the superior blood of Christ was shed on Calvary's cross. That is the remedy, the vaccine for sin. Praise the Lord Jesus. And this is why we celebrate. Imagine the joy and the rejoicing, praise God Almighty, in the world when the announcement is made that they have established a vaccine or a treatment for the coronavirus. 
Praise the Lord Jesus. When you people are able to go about their businesses as usual. When the, the, the stocks begin to rise. Hallelujah. And we are able to take part in our sporting activities. Praise the Lord. We will rejoice because of that news. But when Christ came to give us the vaccine. The eternal vaccine for the soul. The most prized possession of man. Praise the Lord Jesus. We seem to take it very lightly. Hallelujah. And so today I want to encourage us from a little thought. Stay in the house. Praise the Lord Jesus. Stay in the house. You see, we've got to understand from the scripture that we read in the book of Exodus. That the people of Israel, they were in slavery in the land of Egypt. Praise the Lord. The Lord sent plagues upon Pharaoh and the Egyptians. And he said that I am going to allow Pharaoh to let you go. So you can worship me as your true and the living God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Nine plagues were sent upon the land of Egypt. And yet Pharaoh decided that he was not going to let the people go. But God said to Moses that he is going to send one more plague. Praise the Lord Jesus. And after this plague, then Moses will throw, then Pharaoh will thrust you out. Praise the Lord Jesus. But you see this plague, it was, it, it, there was a condition that needed to be followed. In order for you to be speared from the effects of this plague, there was a condition. So the Lord said to Moses, I want for you to instruct the people that they should kill a lamb and they should put the blood of the lamb upon the doors and the lintels of their houses. Praise the Lord Jesus. In addition to putting the blood there, it is important that every Israelite remain in the house. Hallelujah. The Bible said that he said, when I see the blood, then I will pass over you. Praise God Almighty. He also went on to say the blood is a token. And when I see it, I will pass. In other words, it was a guarantee. It was a pledge. It was a promise that I will not allow the devourer to come into your house. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. In order for them to be spared, they had to obey the conditions. Praise the Lord Jesus. If we skip forward to the book of Joshua, we see a similar situation where there was a harlot called Rahab who hid some spies of Israel, praise God. Israel was going to come into the city of Jericho to destroy the city. But because she showed them kindness, she made a request. She said, I want when you come into the land, I want for you to spare my life. And she was not selfish, but she said, I want you to spare the lives of my mother, my father, my brethren, my sister, praise the Lord Jesus. Now she asked for something that st stood out to me. She said, I want you to give me a true token. The same word that Christ used in Exodus. He said, the blood shall be for you a token. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now Rahab requested a true token. Something that she could hold on to. Something that she could put her confidence and her trust in. The men said, I am going to give you a token. This scarlet thread that you let us down by, I want you to put it up on the window. Hallelujah. And when we come into the land, praise the Lord Jesus, anyone that is in the house, praise God Almighty, they shall be speared. So it was now the responsibility of Rahab to ensure that all her family was in the house. Praise the Lord. The men went on to say that I, we, we will not be responsible for the blood of anyone that is outside of the house. Praise the Lord Jesus. But everyone that is in the house with the scarlet thread. That represented the blood of Jesus that was to be shed. They shall be speared. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now you see we've got to understand that the scarlet thread. And the blood that was slain in Exodus 12. The, the lamb's blood that was slain were both representations of the ultimate superior blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And you see so we've got to recognize that if the representations 
were effective, hallelujah, to save the soul of men, praise God Almighty. How much more potent, how much more effective is the blood of, hallelujah, of the Lamb of God that was slain before the foundations of the world hallelujah i'm here to tell us today praise the lord church that coronavirus shouldn't scare us praise the lord jesus because if we die in christ hallelujah we have a hope that we shall live again hallelujah praise the lord jesus sin and death hath no more dominion over us praise the lord the song says that death hath no terror or the blood but one hallelujah oh glory hallelujah to the lamb hallelujah we can rejoice praise god because we have a sure hope thank you jesus praise the lord come on wherever you are just lift your hands and give god some praise hallelujah praise the lord jesus you see we've got to recognize that when jesus christ came to shed his blood it was to establish a house. The church that was bought with the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. It tells me then that it is Jesus who holds the whole thing together. If we take him out of the equation, then the building is going to crumble. Hallelujah. And so we've got to recognize that in this time that we are living, there is a house. Hallelujah. And if you are not found in the house, praise God Almighty, the pestilence, hallelujah. Amen. You are inclined to be affected. Praise God Almighty. If we look in scripture, we recognize that there is promise of a time of tribulation. I heard Bishop Daly say it some time ago that the coronavirus and all that's going on now is just the introduction, praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. It is just the beginning. But there is more to come, praise the Lord Jesus. And I'm here to remind us that it doesn't mean that if we are in the church of Christ that we may not be affected by the coronavirus. But we are sure that our souls, hallelujah, are anchored, praise God Almighty. The Bible says this, what shall it profit a man if he should lose his soul and gain the entire world? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? We recognize then that the soul is your most valued and prized possession. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you, you recognize the, the importance of your soul, I would believe that you would do anything possible to ensure, hallelujah, that your soul is saved. Men are willing to spend millions, hallelujah, to preserve the natural soul, but place very little, em the, the natural life, but place very little emphasis on the soul. Praise God Almighty. And in this time of Easter, where we come to recognize and to show appreciation for the birth, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we understand that it was a true sacrifice because as men are trying to find vaccines for the pandemics of this time i recognize that they are testing the vaccines on animals you will see them in a lab with rats and with monkeys praise the lord jesus but you don't see them trying it on themselves because their lives are considered so precious but when Jesus saw us, hallelujah, in our time of sin and recognized that there was only one solution to the sin pandemic, hallelujah, he counted his life, hallelujah, praise God Almighty, as nothing, but he laid it down. Kato Shataya, he put the blood, hallelujah, on the altars of heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And he said that if any man come unto me, I will in no wise, 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Cast him away. And so we have a hope because Jesus Christ, he counted the cost. Praise the Lord. He went on the cross and he became a curse that we might have life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. To establish the church of the living God. Praise God. He made it free of charge. Amen. The millions and the billions that are being spent across the world is not necessary to obtain salvation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Think about it. Think about it. Christ did it all. All that we've got to do. The Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, hallelujah, and the, the word whosoever represents the, the fact that no one is excluded. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish but, sh must, but shall have everlasting life. Praise the Lord Jesus. Paul said in the book of Romans, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to anyone that believes. Hallelujah. It means, therefore, that regardless of your condition, hallelujah, the blood is available. Hallelujah. If you are a sinner man, praise God Almighty, you can have salvation because the blood was shed for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. I don't care the state that you are in. Praise God Almighty. It is potent. It is effective to save you. Praise God Almighty. If you're a homosexual, the blood can save you. If you're a murderer, the blood can save you. Hallelujah. Whatever your condition is, the blood can save you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. There's a song that I love. It says, have you been to Jesus for the cleansing flood? Are you washed in the blood of the lamb? Are your garments spotless? Hallelujah. Are they white as snow? God Almighty. Praise the Lord Jesus. There is room at the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. It doesn't matter what you have done. The blood can cover it. Praise the Lord Jesus. The blood is effective. The song says it reaches to the highest mountains. And it flows to the lowest valley. The blood, it prevails. Hallelujah. Whoever, whatever race you are. We are hearing now that the pandemic is affecting one, one race more than others. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. They are saying African Americans seem to be more vulnerable. Praise the Lord Jesus. But when it comes on to sin, whether you are Chinese or Indian, hallelujah, black or white, praise God Almighty, then sin has the same effect. But I'm glad today that we have found the vaccine for sin. Praise the Lord Jesus. I wonder if there is anyone who would refuse, praise the Lord, taking a genuine vaccine for the pandemics of this world. But when we hear of our souls that is dying, that is in need of treatment, that is in need of sterilization, praise the Lord Jesus, we feel Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. But this is why in the midst of this crisis, the church can rejoice. Because we have a hope. Hallelujah. That if this earthly house be dissolved. Hallelujah. We have a building not made with hands. Hallelujah. That's passed in the heavens. Praise the Lord Jesus. And so those sickness may rock our bodies. We have peace. In the midst of the storm, we can rejoice in the midst of a crisis. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord Jesus. And so like Rahab today, I am sounding a word. Because the host is available. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I like the fact that she was not selfish because she went and she called her relatives. 
Hallelujah. The church is here for the saving of souls. But I wish that we would become burdensome. Hallelujah. For the souls that are not saved and bring them into the house. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because there is coming upon the earth. Hallelujah. A time of tribulation. And if you're not going to accept God out of fear, I would that you would accept him out of love for the selfless sacrifice that he made. Praise the Lord Jesus. I don't want to drive anyone into fear, telling them about what is to come on the earth. I don't want you to accept Christ because of that, but I want you to see the need for the salvation of your soul. It is your soul. It is your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. It is you. Hallelujah. We, 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 we recognize that our bodies, praise the Lord Jesus, need sustenance. But God never just made us bodies. When he made the body, it was dead and lifeless. It was not until he breathed into the body, the spirit, the breath of life, that man became a living soul. So we've got to be balanced, praise the Lord Jesus. We've got to treat with the, the, the needs of the body, but we've got to pay attention to the needs of the soul. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. If the vaccine, the blood of Jesus cost money, praise the Lord God Almighty. All of us jumping up together perhaps couldn't even afford a dose. But he made it so available. That whosoever will, hallelujah, can receive of this vaccine. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm here to tell some prodigal son, some prodigal daughter, who like the prodigal son in Luke, stepped out of his father's house. The place of protection. Hallelujah. The place of covering. The place of sustenance. And found himself in a far country. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that you're living dangerously. Praise the Lord Jesus. That it is time for you to come to your senses and find your way back in the house. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because I sense that some terrible things, praise God Almighty, is about to be unleashed. Hallelujah. And there is a hope for the people of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. There is a hope for the people of God. If you are not in the house with the blood mark, and I'm talking now about the church, purchased with the blood of the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Your blood is upon your heads. You have been warned, praise the Lord Jesus. You have been given ample time. Hallelujah. If you hear his voice, Today, harden not your heart. Praise the Lord Jesus. You see the, Egypt, the, the Israelites, if they did not harden to the conditions that were given to them, they would have suffered harm. Praise the Lord Jesus. If Rahab did not harden to the conditions that were given, her house and the inhabitants thereof would be destroyed. Jesus gave us a condition to get into the church of the living God. Peter preached it on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. He said, repent and be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you no exclusion. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lamb who shed his blood. Hallelujah. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Listen to me, church. If we don't follow the instructions, our souls are in danger. Praise the Lord. We don't have to die in sin because the remedy, hallelujah, has been given. It is made available. Distance has no impact. Praise God Almighty. Wherever you are, salvation is available. May God bless you today. As you endeavor to stay in the secured house, the church of the living God. And if you're not in the house, you can't stay in the house. So for those of us who 
are on the outside. The call is that you get into the house. Hallelujah. And when you get in, stay in. The Lord is able to keep you. He is able to sustain you. He is able to preserve you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Can we stand and let us lift our hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lift your hands and worship him. Thank him for the blood. Thank him for that cleansing blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I see the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Minister said and the word says I will pass over you. Hallelujah. Stay in the house. That's the word of the Lord today. And if you have tuned in this morning to a Good Friday service and you're not saved, you need to get into the house. You need to get into the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where that blood is marked on the posts of the house where the scarlet thread which represents the blood of Christ is on the window. Hallelujah. And when the time of trouble comes, hallelujah, your salvation will be sure. Praise the Lord. Can we praise the Lord, everybody? Can we praise the Lord? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The blood of Jesus that he shed for me and say for it reaches to the high highest mountain do you believe do you believe it this morning that it flows for you and you and you to the lowest valley that's why he came that's why he sacrificed that's why he died hallelujah Hallelujah. That through the shedding of the blood, you might win. You might have victory. You don't have to worry about the signs of the times. All you've got to do just to get into, hallelujah, the house. Get into the place of security where the blood has been shed. Hallelujah for you and me. For we just have do you believe that it flows to the Lord's valley? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him glory. Hallelujah. Give him thanks this morning for the blood that was shed. Hallelujah. It will never lose its power. Hallelujah. And it had on the day of Pentecost. It's a
same power Canada it has today for reaching for to the highest level. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you believe that it flows to the lowest valley? Oh, yes. For the blood. Come on, somebody, cry 
Jesus to the fountain of life.
social distances. I'm doing that. Sanitize and make sure you wash your hands often. I am doing that. That's not, but that is not where my trust and my confidence is. I'm trusting God that even if it comes my way, it will not infect 
me nor my family or my brethren or anyone else. Hallelujah. That's what I'm praying for. So my hope is all in the blood. All in Jesus Christ. That's where my confidence is. And as we close this morning, I want us to just pray. I'm going to ask us to pray a very special prayer as we close. We thank God for his minister that brought forth the word. Pray that God will just continue to anoint his ministry and his life. And all of us that made it out to service today, what I want us to pray, I want us to pray and ask God that he will keep us in the house. For the word is clear. If we're in the house, we shall be saved. But if we step outside the door, then our blood shall be upon our own head. And I want us to pray and ask God to help us to remain in his house. Amen? And we're going to pray for those that have not received the Lord yet in their heart. Uh, you too will see the need to come into the house of the Lord and to surrender your heart to the living God. Not because of the fear of Corona, but because of the love for the man Christ Jesus. Can I invite us all to just bow our heads right now as we close in prayer and pray for these things. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for the shed blood. And in this season, hallelujah, this Easter season when some have gotten their priorities all confused. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And some are probably even vexed that they cannot go to the beach or to a party. Hallelujah, because of curfew. We want to acknowledge, Lord God, hallelujah, that we remember and always will reflect with thanksgiving for the shed blood for the sacrifice that you paid on Calvary and we're praying God hallelujah that you, as you've touched us Lord that you've touched that unsaved person that have tuned in today to this service that has received the word of God in their heart and that they will understand that the pandemic hallelujah of sin is far worse far greater, taking far more lives than the pandemic of this coronavirus. Hallelujah. And the call is still for men to come and to surrender their heart to the living God. We pray for someone's heart right now that you'll touch them, Lord Jesus Christ, right where they are. And we which have received of this gift of salvation that you'll keep us in the house where there's safety for the world is in a crisis and the only safe place is in Christ Jesus oh Lord hallelujah with all of this social distancing and sanitization practices hallelujah I pray God almighty that help us not to lose faith hallelujah but to have more faith in these last days. Hallelujah. That God you are able to keep. You are able to protect. And you are able to deliver. Hallelujah. From this global crisis. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That Lord that you will bless. And keep your people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help us Lord God. To love you more. Help us, Lord God, to trust you more. As we close in prayer, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, you continue to bless your manservant. Use him for your glory and for your purpose. Continue to anoint us, God, all we pray. As we look to you with expectation, that God, you are our covering, our sure protection. And we ask, Lord God, that you'll hear us when we pray and send an answer. For we trust in you, God, and not another. We ask his mercies this morning. In Jesus' name. And everybody say in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We thank you. 
you are dismissed in the name of the Lord. Just greet somebody before you go. In Jesus' name.